Hello, welcome to YMCA 360. My name is Justin, and this is a quick recap of everything we've learned in our Basketball 101 series. So the first thing that we learned in this series is that our shot starts from the ground up. So that means that we want to keep our toes, 10 toes to the rim. Remember, that means that no matter where we are on the floor, our toes are always going to be pointed directly at the rim. From there, we want to keep our knees balanced, not too far in front of our toes, but just right so that we have that perfect position of power and we're not going to lose the balance. We want to make sure that we keep our hips down and our butt bent so that we can explode through that shot. Another important aspect of that is to find our arch. So on the bottom of your shoe, you want to make sure you put your shoe in the ground, you plant it there, and you're not trying to roll it left or right because you don't want to get injured. If you don't have that, that good center of gravity, you could fall to the right or the left. It's how we end up with twisted ankles. So we make sure you find that arch. It's one of the most important parts of setting your shot up for success. From there, we want to extend our form all the way up to our upper body. So that starts with our hands and how we have the ball in our hands. You want to remember to make sure you have that gap right here so you can put your finger in between the ball and your palm. You want to make sure to keep the ball on your fingertips so that when you release, it's going to give you nice control and balance on that. The next thing you want to do is to pick where you want to shoot. Remember I, I talked about how different shooters find different targets to aim at. You can pick the backboard, you can pick the back of the rim, I choose to pick the front of the rim. I find that the easiest, right where the net and the rim come together. And I want to work on my shot and I want to remember to put that ball just directly over that rim so I can drop it in and hope for a perfect swish. If it doesn't swish, I also want to make sure I'm giving myself an opportunity for a soft bounce so that it'll roll in. The next part of that is to keep my elbow in line with my dominant side of my body. Being a right-hander, I keep my elbow directly in line so that when I come up, I keep a clear vision of the, of the hoop. We, don't want to make sure, we want to make sure that we're not losing our vision as we come up through that shot. We want to make sure that we're keeping that ball on the dominant side of our body so that our eyes can keep that vision. Our elbow is tucked in, not sticking out on that chicken wing or in too far, and then we want to explode up. When we release, we want to make sure that we keep our hand straight forward so that we're not thumbing the ball or pushing the ball too far right or too far left. And we want to just keep the gooseneck, as we call it, right up there. Your elbow should be slightly above your hand, or slightly above your eyes when you finish, and that will allow for that perfect balance that your shot is not too far forward so that you're having a shot put it, or not too far back and you're getting too much arc on it. It'll be perfect right in line for that 45 to 48 degree arc that we're looking for. So in the next few moments, we're gonna be going over a few different drills that you can do at your house to help you perfect this technique and to remember to always keep your body in line. So let's check them out right now. I want to thank everyone for joining me on this basketball journey. I know you're going to go home and crush these drills. Remember to keep checking out YMCA 360 for more instructional videos like these. And always, make it a great day.